is the 5 driver Simgot EM6L the gaming IEM set of the year or have I been completely misled? Let's talk about that. Big shout out to today's video sponsor Linsol. Check out their fantastic deals in the links in the video description. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Thomas and thanks to Linsol for sending out this review unit. They don't get any input on the video, but their links will be in the video description. All right, I've been requested to review the EM6L over and over and I've finally done it. This set is a single dynamic quad BA setup with a resin housing, a braided cable and a hard case all included for $110 on Linsol's website. That makes it pretty affordable for most people but what caught my eye is the fact that Simgot is marketing this thing as a gaming first item and as a serial CS and Apex player I had to get a load of that. Before we talk about sound, let's cover the basics. The included silicone tips are basic but work as well as I'd expect. The included cable is a QDC variant, so it has that little shield over the 2-pin plug on the end, so it's not interchangeable with other 2-pin sets, but I do believe you can plug 2-pin cables into it, although don't quote me on that. It's a plastic covered two wire twist and it's decent. I don't mind the cable, it feels robust, it feels well made. It's not that soft or supple, but also it doesn't hold its shape like a stiffer lead. Though for the price, I'll take this cable all day long. There are much more expensive sets with worse cables than this. The case is gonna be a little large for most people's pockets, but I happen to quite like it for chucking my IEMs in a bag. It fits the IEMs in there just fine, but it also can hold stuff like a BTR 3K or dongle adapters if you need to carry those around with you as well. Thumbs up for the money. And the EM6L themselves are a 3D printed resin shell with a slick and sleek black faceplate. Their individual designs on both sides with no obvious like protrusions or mouldings on any of it. It's, let's face it, a pretty basic looking and feeling shell. Those wanting something understated and laid back might want to go for these. They're really, really light, making them really decent for long listening sessions. They're pretty comfortable. I went about six hours with these in my ears before I had to take them out due to fatigue, which is pretty average for a good set of IEMs for me. Though it is worth mentioning that my ears are quite used to IEMs and if you're new to stuff like this, you may want to give it a couple of weeks for your ears to adapt and get used to the shapes. But you're here to hear <clears throat> about the sound and that's what we're going to be talking about. The profile is a U shape so there's a lot of sub bass and quite a bit of energetic treble but the mid range is quite recessed. Now this is a pretty divisive decision for gamers because I know people who swear by this kind of profiling for their gaming but I also know those who prefer a flatter more balanced tuning for that more balanced detail retrieval in games like CS2. I kind of sit on the fence, I like having both, I guess if I had to pick one I'd probably go for the flatter style but I play a lot of CS2 and Valorant whereas I think that the U-shaped profile might work better for sort of Overwatch and Apex so your mileage may vary. What they are though is dynamic and fun. If you like the low end shake and the sparkly energetic high frequencies like I do, these should be right up your alley. There is a fair amount of sibilance so if you're sensitive to that or you don't like a shouty pair of IEMs I'd probably go with something else. That high end is there to cap off the details that give you that airy sound that you might want in a competitive shooter but it also kind of works for music. The EM6L are genuinely really fun to listen to music with. They aren't that technical so layer separation, instrument separation, that kind of thing really not super clear with these and you'd probably be better off going sort of the like Kai Lua but if you want a decent amount of detail and it's more sort of on a macro level as opposed to a micro level then these should satisfy no problem. If I had to be nitpicky I would say that the sub bass kind of bleeds into the mid bass a little bit but if you're less nitpicky about this then I wouldn't worry. The mids can get a little bit drowned out by the sub bass which doesn't help their technical ability uh, but the tuning is overall quite smooth and inoffensive which makes them great as a starter set for someone either looking for a one size fits all pair of budget or someone just starting out in the hobby. Given that these things are aimed at gamers I tried them in several games myself. Some that rely heavily on audio like CS2 and Apex and others that didn't like FC24 and SnowRunner because why not? I have them in my library. I've come to the conclusion that these are solid for gaming and I can definitely recommend them, but they aren't the only pair that I'd recommend in this price range for gamers. 
To start with, the imaging, which is to say the perceived placements in a 3D space. It's all right, it's okay. Uh, it's not as good as the OH-10, the EW-200 or the VR-3000, but you are able to pick up where gunshots are coming from fairly easily, the same with footsteps. It's not like these are a cheat code, you're not able to hear stuff that you wouldn't normally hear with a good set of IEMs anyway. They don't specialise in the imaging, but they are good. That said, I think the soundstage actually plays more of a part in this because they feel really big, they feel open and immersive and weird for a closed back, cheap IEM. They're still not quite as good as the OH-10, which is quite a more expensive set, but the soundstage is very immersive, it's very broad, and actually that does help with the positioning a little bit more. After playing games with lots of loud noises like explosions, ultimate ability, stuff like that, I could feel the EM6L could come across as a bit fatiguing to those who aren't used to it. A flatter, more balanced set like the Moondrop Aria SE are less likely to get that annoying in situations like that and lots of explosions over a long period of time and can come across a little bit smoother and less harsh. But honestly, that might be me nitpicking and trying to cater to a newbie audience because the EM6L are far from the harshest that I've ever listened to. They are very smooth for what they are, even though they are a U-shaped set where you do get quite a lot of energy. For those playing games like CS2, uh, it tends to be less of an overwhelming sound because stuff is happening in a more controlled environment compared to just the out and out chaos that is a lot of sort of Call of Duty and Battlefield lobbies. I think the EM6L with its U-shaped profile is more suited to those crazier games just because of the immersion level, not necessarily from a comfort standpoint. And overall then, for $120, the EM6L is one of the best IEMs I think for gaming. There are other sets that I would recommend over it or alongside it, let's say. The Moondrop Aria SE I think is a great option. If you can step up to the ICO OH10, I would go for that as well. And the VR3000 are in there for fun. I think I much prefer the EM6L to the VR3000 because the soundstage is pretty good on them. The price is good, you get a case, you get a decent cable. There's quite a lot of value there. And as I said earlier on in the video, they're smooth enough to not offend either people coming into the space or those who just want a nice chill IEM. They're good for listening to music, good for playing games, where the VR3000 really only caters to gaming and doesn't come with any near, anywhere near as nice uh, an accessory package as the EM6L. So it might not be the go-to recommendation, but it's definitely in my top five. The EM6L from SimGot, a company that I've recently learned is really, really good with their IEMs, impresses me here as well. Links to Linsol will be in the video description. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and a big thanks to you for watching it. So all my socials again will be in the de description. Let me know in the comments, do you like the EM6L or do you prefer something a little bit flatter? Also, if you haven't noticed by now, I've moved. I'm in a different space. I'm not sure which order this video will be going up in compared to I have like a monitor video coming out, a mouse, a keyboard, another set of IEMs, more IEMs, more monitors. It's all going to be stuff like that going forward and um, hopefully this is one of the sooner uh, videos going out on the channel just so it makes more sense with this whole like new space and stuff. I finally have an office. I, there's no bed in here. This is actually an office. Amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I've been Ryan Thomas and I'll catch you later. Cheers.